DeepMind has developed AlphaCode, an AI system that writes computer programs at a competitive level, according to the company. The Alphabet subsidiary tested its system against coding difficulties used in human competitions and discovered that its algorithm obtained an estimated rank, putting it among the top 54% of human programmers. According to DeepMind, the outcome is a big step forward for autonomous coding, However, AlphaCode's skills are not necessarily reflective of the kind of programming challenges faced by the ordinary coder. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you how programmers are at the forefront of losing their jobs due to increasingly tough competition from artificial intelligence models. Oriel Vinyals, DeepMind's principal research scientist, told The Verge via email that the research was still in its early stages, but that the findings moved the company closer to developing a flexible problem-solving AI, a program that can autonomously tackle coding challenges that are currently the domain of humans only. In the long run, we're optimistic about AlphaCode's potential for helping programmers and non-programmers write code, improve productivity, and create new methods of developing software, Vinyals added. AlphaCode was put to the test against challenges organized by CodeForces, a competitive coding site that offers weekly tasks and assigns coders ranks akin to the LO rating system used in chess. These responsibilities are distinct from those that a programmer may encounter while developing, say, a commercial app. They are more self-contained and need a broader understanding of both algorithms and theoretical computer science ideas. Consider them highly specialized puzzles that mix logic, arithmetic, and coding knowledge. In one test challenge, contestants were required to develop a means to transform one string of random, repeating S and T letters into another string of the same letters using a limited number of inputs. Competitors, for example, cannot just input new letters but must instead use the backspace command, which deletes multiple characters from the original string. The following is a detailed summary of the challenge. 10 of these problems were input into AlphaCode in the exact same format that people are given. AlphaCode then created a greater number of possible responses and narrowed them down by executing the code and inspecting the results in the same way that a human competitor would. The entire process is automated, with no human selection of the best samples, the AlphaCode paper's co-authors, Yujia Lee and David Choi, told The Verge via email. AlphaCode was tested on 10 tasks completed by 5,000 people on the CodeForces website. It rated in the top 54.3% of replies on average, and DeepMind believes that this gives the system a CodeForces LO of 1238, putting it in the top 28% of users who competed on the site in the previous six months. Many other businesses are developing similar apps. Microsoft and the AI lab OpenAI, for example, have converted the latter's language generation tool GPT-3 to operate as an autocomplete program that completes code strings. AlphaCode, like GPT-3, is built on an AI architecture known as a transformer, which excels in parsing sequential text in both normal language and code. For the end user, these technologies function similarly to Gmail's Smart Compose feature, recommending ways to complete whatever you're writing. In recent years, much progress has been made in building AI coding systems, but these systems are still far from ready to take over the work of human programmers. The code they generate is frequently unstable, and because the systems are typically trained on libraries of public code, they occasionally replicate copyrighted information. Researchers discovered security flaws in roughly 40% of the output of an AI programming tool called Copilot produced by code repository GitHub in one investigation. Security experts have even argued that bad actors may purposefully build and disseminate code with hidden backdoors online, which could then be used to teach AI computers that would inject these vulnerabilities into future projects. Due to these challenges, AI coding systems will most likely be introduced gradually into programmers' work, first as assistants whose recommendations are viewed with mistrust before they are trusted to carry out work on their own. In other terms, they must complete an apprenticeship. However, thus far, these programs are learning quickly. There is a risk that automation will reduce demand for developers, but DeepMind points to the limitations of today's code completion tools, which greatly improve programming productivity but were previously limited to single-line suggestions and restricted to specific languages or short code snippets. There is no question that computers will become far more capable of programming in the near future than they are now. 
Which takes us to a terrifying conclusion. It's only a matter of time until neural networks create usable code. Things seem bad for computer scientists like me, Professor. Bockage believes. But is the future truly so bleak? According to MIT's Armando Solar Lazama, technologies like Deep Coder have the ability to automate code creation, but AI will not replace engineers' employment. Instead, a program synthesis-based system may be utilized to automate the laborious elements of code creation while developers focus on complicated tasks. Automation is already being used by companies to create smart software. Dev9 is a Seattle-based bespoke software development firm specializing in Java and JavaScript. Dev9 puts together teams that employ artificial intelligence to create unique software, eliminating time-consuming processes and substantially lowering manual overhead. When its chief technology officer, Will Iverson, was asked if programmers should be concerned about being replaced by AI in the near future, he replied, according to Janel Garvin, CEO of Evans Data, the fear of becoming obsolete as a result of the proliferation of AI-powered technologies was also more terrifying than aging old without a pension, being stifled at work by terrible management, or having their talents and tools become outdated. There is no question that technology will continue to advance and get smarter. It may eventually outperform humans in terms of intelligence. How do we deal with such a possibility? Stephen Hawking recognized a significant threat in computers developing intelligence. He did, however, give some advice. Should you start searching for artificial intelligence to make your software specs a reality? Most likely not yet. It will be some time before AI can generate true, production-worthy code that is more than a few lines long. Software development is an inherently difficult task. The process of writing code from scratch consists of a number of pieces that must be smoothly combined to generate a working result. Although breakthroughs in AI have been many and far-reaching, the technology on its own is far from sufficient to replace humans, and it does not appear that it will be able to do so very soon. Even if AI-powered computers can be used to collaborate with people to create code, it will take time for them to learn to comprehend the commercial value of each feature and advise on what to build next. Instead of worrying about whether computers will take developers' jobs, it appears that staying with human programmers and designers who have the know-how and creativity to build software that your consumers enjoy is a better use of time. I can confidently declare that the results of AlphaCode exceeded my expectations. I was skeptical since, even in basic competitive tasks, it is frequently necessary not just to build the algorithm but also and this is the most difficult part to create it. AlphaCode managed to outperform a potential new opponent. The Hollywood fantasy of AI supplanting humans has yet to come true. We've come a long way since 2001, a space odyssey-style scenario in which rogue AI rebels against its human masters and kills out space personnel. That doesn't stop filmmakers from liberally using the idea of AI revolt into their movies. So, what is your opinion on more and more non-manual labor jobs becoming possible for artificial intelligences? Does that concern you or do you believe that it will be a while before artificial intelligence gains the capabilities that are necessary to compete in a complicated field such as programming? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.